What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel Total Technology Zone this is tutorial 89 and today's topic will be very simple but very important tutorial in last 7 days I got 200 requests that I should um, tell you guys how to set OpenAI API key with Langchain I believe I sent couple of links but uh, still most of you are, uh, are not able to resolve the issue so sorry for that because I thought uh, this thing is very basic probably you guys will figure it out but um, uh, I was wrong and I'm sorry as well because I could not cover this part at the beginning so let me do it now and hopefully after that you guys will not face any problem okay so for example if you see in all of my code I haven't set that API key in my uh, in my code right it apparently it seems that that there is no no line mentioned regarding API key. Always I said my API key has been set on the environment as an environment variable. Right. So how to do that? I'll show you now and I'll be just going to do it step by step. Like what are the things I'll be going to do? I'll set OpenAI key as an in, as environment variable and then I'll use OpenAI API key dynamically. Two approach I'll show you. Okay. So just stay tuned. Watch the video till the end and you guys will be able to resolve this by your own. Okay. So first thing first you have to open your browser any browser you have to search with OpenAI API and you will get this link OpenAI API overview. So this link you have to sign up obviously just because I already sign up if say here I have something uh, like this. So once you go here you have to click on your name and then your profile like this and if you go here user API keys so all my API keys are created here right. So second thing what you have to do. Uh, you have to check um, like in the billing like you have some amount or not if you see I have nine dollar okay so you require dollar to use uh, the latest model like GPT-4 or GPT-4 um, or even uh, to call the API you will require this um, like dollar like some amount of recharge okay so next thing you have to again go here and click on your profile user API keys right and I'll be just going to create API key and I'm showing I have two machines so one is for Mac and one is for Windows so I just created this thing so I'll be going to show you how to do it from the beginning first you have to click on this thing and let me write it tutorial tutorial 89 so I'll remember tutorial 89 okay then create the API key so API key is created right like this I copied and done so don't worry I'll be just going to delete this thing after some time now what will be actually going to do uh, you have to paste it somewhere so i'll be just going to paste it here right now what will be going to do you have to go to your search in windows and environment variables okay like this so if you see okay i think it was not the environment variable you have to just write environment variable like this it will be coming like this now in the system variable section you have to uh, um, okay I don't know why it is coming like this just hold on so let me go here in the my pc then show more option then properties like normal way right then advanced system settings and then environment variable right and here you have to click on new and you have to create an open ai underscore api key so write this you have to create like this open ai underscore api underscore key right you have to create this thing so uh, let me show you how I did it okay so basically let me make it because I don't want to uh, like um, okay so this is the key so what I will do I'll be just going to let me delete this thing then I'll be able to delete okay I'm deleting so now new and you have to write like this op open AI underscore API everything will be in capital right and after that you have to just paste like this key from here right so this is done and then you have to click on ok and then ok it's done right right then close it so it is set so this part is over like set open a API key as an environment variable right so now what we'll be going to do we'll be going to write a code and see whether it's working okay so from okay from Langchain okay just do one thing uh, okay let me remember this thing so that you will remember because I'll be going to use this key after some time again like this okay so what we'll do so from Langchain underscore open AI import 
chat open AI, right? Then we'll be going to set an LLM, right? LLM is actually going to be this and model equals to GPT hyphen four O. Okay, like this, right? Now we'll be going to write a response object. Uh, it will be LLM dot invoke. So there I'll be going to ask a very simple question. Uh, what is the uh, currency for USA, right? And then uh, print response, okay? So now what will happen? It is actually going to generate this thing, right? So doing something and we'll be going to get the answer in few seconds, okay? So if you see uh, United States dollar commonly used, so I got the answer, right? So may token usage and everything it is showing you, right? Now what we'll do, I'll be just going to write the same code by deleting that environment variable, right? So let's close this thing, okay? So let's go to again here, okay? Properties, advanced settings, environment variable, and let's search for OpenAI API key and delete, okay? Okay. All done. Now, while we, what we'll be going to do, we'll be going to run the same code after deleting this thing. Okay, let's see what is coming now. Yeah, so if you see OpenAI API key is missing. So mostly, most of you guys are actually getting this error. So now you understand like how to set the uh, that uh, key as an environment variable. Just now I deleted the environment variable, so it's not working. So there is an, another approach. Now another approach is actually dynamically, how to set this API key dynamically. So for that you have to do what? You have to actually import another uh, module import OS, right? And here you have to set this thing uh, dynamically OS dot environment like this. And then you have to like open AI underscore API underscore key and this equals to this this value i'm putting it here right and now if i run this code still it will work because i'm setting this value environment label dynamically previously i was setting it from the back end but the same thing is actually getting set here but this key is only going to work in this console i mean this programming like boundary if you open another vs code instance it will not work so same goes for pycharm if you are using pycharm you have to just add this line for your code Okay, and it will work. Okay, now this. Okay, you see, I'm get this thing, right? Okay. Another thing is possible. You have to create a dot env file. You have to set this value here, and you have to actually get the value from there. So those things are also possible. Okay, but. Uh, I'm not uh, going to do that. Basically, it is going to be the same thing. The most straightforward approach is setting it from the environment variable and setting it from here, right? So if you just change this value, probably it will not work. Okay. You see here I'm getting an error. So obviously you have to like keep this thing. Now the main concern is actually uh, this approach is useful sometimes when a program uh, when a company is actually having multiple like a task and they don't want to set that key in the environment label they want to set it dynamically but that time remember you should not show your should not show your uh, api key in the uh, program level you have to create a dot environment variable like this right dot environment variable okay like this and there you have to set this value in the environment variable file, what you have to set, you have to set this value. Like, let me show you. Like, so for example, you have to, okay, equals to this value, okay. Okay, like this. Okay. Now what will happen? So how to actually set this value here, right? So a couple of things can be done like this will be coming from the environment variable and i should not commit this code to github right so for that um, i think in python we have a module called from uh, dot env import uh, 
load dot env right and then you have to write load dot env like this right and here it will be mm, os dot get env and there probably you have to pass this key okay if the code is not working it is going to take you can take help from uh, like uh, chat gpt because these things i don't remember okay okay so like this oh it's certain words get get env like this okay so now what will happen now let's see whether it's working or not okay uh, okay so basically it is not subscribable so i hope it should be like this okay okay like this so let's see yeah it's working right so this is also another way of doing it right so there are a couple of ways i i actually showed you guys two three types of different ways of doing 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 it like with the help of uh, like dynamically uh, with the with the dot env right so dot env file is mostly used by the companies if their requirement is actually used to uh, like used uh, uh, requirement is actually to use the open ai api key dynamically then dot environment is actually the best approach because you you should not uh, like uh, commit this into github rather than in the uh, pro in the actual production environment whether it's a docker or something you have to actually create a secret for that it's a kubernetes secret or etc i'm not going to do in that infrastructural details like if you have an infrastructure team they'll be going to handle this thing only you have to tell them that these are my secrets i want to use in my program right so they will do it okay from the yaml file and etc right this is a different thing devops thing like um, I'm, I'm planning to start actually like devops for llm engineering or devops engineering for llm application development soon maybe that will be uh, four or five that will be four or five uh, different tutorial and uh, after that it will be done okay okay so with that uh, with that uh, with that uh, with that note i'll be going to uh, conclude the video over here right so as i said this is going to be a very straightforward tutorial i'll be going to um, continue the normal uh, use cases with tutorial in, uh, from from the next video that will be tutorial number 90 but this is tutorial number 89 i thought of creating this tutorial so that everybody will uh, resolve their problem right okay so last but not least uh, if you are uh, new to my channel you should subscribe to my channel you can uh, watch this entire playlist from the beginning i mean tutorial number one to tutorial number 18 89 it's a long journey right so i encourage all of you to watch this playlist and uh, please try to subscribe to my channel hit the like button share my videos with your family and friend and uh, try to hit the bell notification icon as well so you should not miss any future updates and last but not least guys please try to subscribe and share my videos put some comment as well because i need your engagement and i need active engagement without you guys active engagement i won't be able to grow i need your support and i'm putting a lot of hard work and effort here please help me to grow i would like to reach large number of audience and i need your active uh, like presence in my channel and in my community so i'm looking forward to that please help me to grow okay so that's it guys uh, that's it for today we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day and happy learning